Anzac Day is one of the most significant dates on the New Zealand calendar as we remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country, including a number of All Blacks. Tēnā koutou te lopa malo lele mbula and welcome to Super Rugby Aotearoa from Christchurch. The Crusaders against the Blues and Justin Marshall, a massive game for both. Kia ora Nisbo, Smitty downstairs, tēnā koutou katoa, welcome in everybody, absolutely yes. The Blues have not won in Christchurch since 2004. They'll be looking to make a real statement this afternoon to change that record. Secondly, the Crusaders will be looking to their shed. Well, response. Expect one. They've been slightly off. I expect them to be really on today. Well, still no Joe Moody, so George Bauer plays loose head against All Black Nepo Laulala. At hooker, the Blues welcome back Kirk Eklund against the very much informed Cody Taylor. Two highly experienced props here, Michael Ala Alotoa, Carl Tuunukaapi. Captain Scott Barrett returns to lock for this game, Jared Cowley Tuyoti for the Blues. After being rested for much uh, for the last match, Sam Whitelock returns for the Blues 20-year-old Sam Darry. The Blues have gone with pace in the loose with Blake Gibson on the blind side against Ethan Blackadder. Siani Havili Talutui returns for the Crusaders against the impressive Dalton Papali'i. While in the back of the scrum, two youngsters go head to head, Cullen Grace and Hoskins Hatutu. Centura and Mitchell Drummond and informed Jonathan Rudu get the back lines rolling from nine. All the classy skills of Richie Moonga on display and a massive opportunity for Harry Plummer at first five. George Bridge and Mark Talia quite comfortably two of the best finishing winningers in the game. Mr. Consistent and Mr. Dangerous David Harvelli and the talented Teniello Talia gets his chance at 12. Now get yourself ready for this huge showdown. Let's defy Inganuku and Rico Iwani go toe to toe. And we're not done by any means on the big game clashes with Sivu Reese and Caleb Clark mixing it on the wing. Both fullbacks have the ability to break the game wide open. Will Jordan and Stephen Perofeta. One! Let's go! Okay, the whistle blows and Richie Moanga about to get this game underway in Christchurch. And calling for it is Sam Nary, the big man. Gets it on the second take. But in there trying to wrestle it away is Sebu Reese. He's done a pretty good job. Set! Drummond rolls it in quickly back. Hands it on for Havili. Quick hands now. Jordan frees it up here to George Bricks. And the left winger in good space. Taken down by Mark Talia. But they've made good ground inside the 22 here, but there's been a turnover once again. This time it was Papali'i, now Riru, away for Talia. To the line-out, won by Whitelock, quickly away for Moanga. Trying to escape from the clutches of Ruru. Now Drummond sends it out into midfield for Grace, and they make it in Blues territory as Drummond clears it off again. Avili is Jordan! Will Jordan! Almost through! He is through! Will Jordan! What a try that is! Magic! Absolutely magic! Will Jordan! Striking off defenders! As if they weren't even there, the line was exceptional off Havili, who stepped up as a first receiver twice in that movement. Well, massive impact from Will Jordan, because the high kick, which was really well timed from Havili, was contested by Jordan. He was the man that was there, which managed to win it from Peter Feta. The Crusaders there went on to attack. Over to the left-hand side, Jordan got him back in the game off Havili. So the same combo that worked for the kick. All good combined with a pass this time and then he was against the grain will jordan so all the defenders that he beat were pretty much off the right foot and then shrugged off to Lea to finish it outstanding just an incredible strike rate will jordan that's his 19th try in just his 27th game of super rugby Moanga, and right down the middle goes the conversion, and the Crusaders strike early and lead by seven to nil. And here's Bridge waiting, unchallenged. Taken down finally by Gibson, as the Blues try and turn this over. But it's going to be there, I think, for Helen Grace. 
Now White block swings it off to Moanga. And Eklund missed him. Now Moanga. Ticked and chase. Here comes Reese. Ball might beat them all, and it does. Well, Richie yeah. Moanga saw that it was Kurt Eklund and Strong just sailed around him. Did everything Strong. absolutely perfect, Richie Moanga. I think he needed to go for the pass. Severi Reese had absolutely no one on him. Peter yeah. Fettel was hedging his bets. The speculative kick wasn't the right option. But again, the footwork. He's so dangerous. If you rush up on him, you cannot give him time because that footwork will leave you in a world of hurt. Goes deep to the back. One by Kelly Toyoti. Flat pass for Plummer. Running hard, Harry Plummer. Ten out from the 22. Right in centre field. Away from Ruru to Gibson. And the Crusaders' defence up very quickly. He's got Blues Power's been left on the ground. Just keep playing. I haven't got anything yet. Riku Yuani here. Clash with maybe Mawonga. So play will carry on for the moment as Eklund takes it into the setup. Doctors, independent doctors, not even considering that. So they were convinced he should be gone. Nice line out win by Kelly Tuioti. Plummer hands it off to Mark Talia who broke the initial tackle. Here is Kali Tuioti going again, just near the 22. And the Blues building up nicely here. And on it goes from Perifeta. And Ruri swings it away for Tuanukapi. Lays it back quickly, all oh, the ball somehow lost forward. Maybe it was a Blues Off the boot. boot came in there, yeah. Stopped the momentum. As swung away by Black. Now Satutu gliding his way through. Are you there, James? Yep. The ball is short of the white line and then it's held up over the line. Okay, so a, re a restart is a goal line dropout. Correct. Thanks. This time, can't get away. And ball turned over. That's backwards by, by Blue. the Blues. They've got a chance here. Ruru. Now he tries to get it away to two and oh, up. Been knocked on by the Crusaders. So the Blues still in possession. Blues holding. Now the Crusaders put weight in. And the ball is out just in time, I think, as uh, the Blues bring it away. And the wild pass across to Talia has gone forward. Well, this gives the Crusaders a golden chance right in midfield. I agree. Yeah. Options here for the Crusaders. And they go with Grace, and he fires the pass off to Moanga. Stepping his way through, got it away to Blackadder. Driving towards the line, the Crusaders. Now Drummond, slow ball. Now it's there. Gets it away, and the Blues defence holds up. Now snapped up by Bauer, and the Crusaders. And carrying it on close to the line. Drummond waits again. Now he swings it wide. Wide across it goes for Sebu Reese. And Sebu Reese scores. Oh, I know it didn't look like much, but Ritu Moonga, he got a bounce pass. But the magic footwork still got him so close to the line, which put the Blues under scrambled defence on their own line. Well, he's been influential today, Richie Moonga. He's on our player camp on channel 50. And he's been strong with the ball in hand. Evasive as always. And fearless in the air. Richie Moonga. And what a tackle that was. Might have been a little bit quiet in the last couple of games, but certainly reasserting himself today. Held by Grace. Now Drummond working the blind side. Moonga with his speed. And he ran a long way, Richie Moonga. Looking to turn it over here, the Blues. And they might have done it. Yeah, they have. Quick hands away goes to Kali Tuyoti. And they're five metres in Crusaders' territory. Ruru 
the way for Gibson snatching at it knocked it on and no advantage there for the Crusaders well they're doing some good things but also making mistakes well, they, they, they almost paid the ultimate price Rudu was chasing a lost cause in at the scrum which set Moanga free consequently he couldn't get to make the tackle he couldn't find the support players however Moanga but he's just so quick on the ball. I think it's a bit of a... They're too good at the moment. Hold! Line-out throw. Won by Derry. Away for Black into midfield. Ioani looked after again by Fanga Anuku. Ball there on the blue side. Ruru taking forever to get a hold of it. Now Talia held up in the tackle of Drummond. Ruru goes again. Laulala. Now a little bit of space for Sir Tutu showing good pace. Now Clark in space for the first time. Looking to have Moonga on. And taken down just near the 22. Moonga goes in and steals it. Ball was out. So here comes the counter-attack. Through Blackadder. Striding his way downfield. And puts it on the ground. Drummond. Away now for Haveli charged. Everyone's on side here. And the Crusaders looking to recover, and looks like they might have. They have. As Drummond, now Moonga, just ghosting his way through, and almost through the gap. Looks to feed it up to Whitelock, who was on the charge as well. They made it to the 10 metre line. Now Jordan looking at a gap which closed very quickly on him, though. And here it is now for Taylor. Little flick on the inside. Here's Drummond again. Bauer. Hit hard from behind by Plummer. Ball there again for Blackadder with Scott Barrett on the charge. Almost to the 22. Ball ripped away, but illegally. You've come in and you kick the ball. Your entry, 14. You know, like when you think of great wingers, they're prepared to, to work in a metre of space. Go on the outside. He's big, strong, fast with a fend. So, Moonga with the kick, and that was inaccurate off the boot. He just pulled that away to the left, and it stays at 12 points to nil. And we're in the last minute of this first half here in Christchurch. This is a massive kick on the angle for David Havini. And away it goes, and it's a mighty kick. And it is just under. Boy, it's still live. Got to be careful here. And I think the Blues might have managed to force this. And if they have, they will head to the dressing room. Boy, that was a near thing on two different counts. Half time here in Christchurch. Super Rugby Aotearoa. Crusaders lead by 12 points to nil. as though the teams remain intact apart from that for this second half so it'll be the blues looking into the sun it's a bit broad, isn't it? referee james dolman sounds the whistle and away we go into this second half and taken down by jordan off it goes for grace blues over the ball winning an early penalty well it's only taken seconds to happen from a handy position early in the second half and up it goes and over it goes and the Blues are on the board and it's 12 points to three. Getting it up nice and high, difficult in the sun as it was for the Crusaders in the first half. Nicely taken down by Plummer it was. Taken back in. Now Satutu looking to run it through and Black cut down very quickly and a penalty what? Mark's there if you want you want to talk about working in tandem I think it was Cullen Grace that came up with the shot on Oteri Black they were looking at a second man shot, play shot the Blues out of their 22 probably the most effective loose forward over the ball for the Crusaders last week was Tom Sanders against the Chiefs in fact he is absolutely outstanding 
in the first 50 minutes of that game. He was everywhere and so effective. He's on the bench tonight. I thought if they were going to have problems over the ball, that might be the guy they went for. Nisbo, we did that game, but uh, at the stage, not yet. OK, so here's uh, Moonga. So the Crusaders very quickly reply to the early penalty. And it's back to a 12-point margin, 15 points to three. So much at stake in this game for both teams, really. Deflected by Grace. So they win the line out, the Crusaders. Avili on the charge by Anuku. Ball is there for Drummond. Gets the call, though, from Cebu Reese. Moanga flicks it away for Havili. And it all comes unstuck as the ball goes across the sideline. Anything there? Time on. So Eklund throws. One again by Darry. Satutu throws the pass. Here's a change of direction. Talia stepping up towards the 22. Good strong run by Talia. Gets it onto the ground quickly. Now Ruru flat across to Akira Yuani. Now Kali Tuioti. Satutu got it off to Black. Really threatening here, the Blues. Ruru. Oh, he threw a loose pass, though. And Petafeta couldn't drag it in. And not only that, he held on to it. And they earned a penalty. Taylor throws deep. And running onto it is Reese. Nicely worked. Good throw by Cody Taylor. Now Havili gets it out to Fanga Anuku. Again, proving hard to put down. And they finally do, but they're 10 out from the 22 here, the Crusaders. Away for Moonga. Black at it for Havili, drops it onto the boot, and this one is going to drift across the touchline. It's very good from Havili, just summing up the situation. Clark had turned in quite a bit, there was plenty of space outside him. The Blues defence holding up a, a lot better than they missed a lot of tackles in the first half. As Cody Taylor takes it down the middle. Now Moonga for Havili, swings it wide. Reese just hangs on and puts the little kick in, but he really lost control of it with that initial bubble, and he's kicked it out on the foot. Stay behind. So okay, Richie let's go. Moonga is going to belt this as far as he possibly can, and that's a fair way. Waiting is Satutu. Gets a head of steam up and off he goes. Almost got to halfway. As Christie swings it away for Eklund. Backwards, Tried the offload, but it didn't work. Whitelock's won it for the Crusaders. So back from Drummond to Moonga. A little bit indecided. Under, and now he puts the kick in. But he's quality, isn't he? He's just lobbed it up. Clark tries to get away from Reese. Can't do so. Blues have got enough players back. Okay. Big moment. Taylor throws. Towards the back where Grace takes it in. Looking good in formation here. Keep an eye on Cody Taylor. Edging their way up. Blues desperately trying to keep them out. Taylor's still got it. They've got it on the line, Taylor. Well, these very intense derby matches are all about winning the big moments. It was that decision too, just that point in the match where they felt kicking for goal was an option, yes, but were they on the moment at a time where they felt that they could get some advantage from a set piece and the, the decision, the correct decision was made and a relatively easy kick for Richie Mawonga to make it seven. And he does just that. It's a seven-pointer and it's 22 points to six to bring it under control for the Blues. Now it's handed on by Ioane, here is his brother, Akira Ioane, showing real power. Oh, beautiful! Here's Rico Ioane. As the Blues look to spark into life, here's a Vikina, the hooker. Ball controlled, though, by Barrett, as the ball went forward, and the Crusaders in their own in-goal area all fired away. And uh, here's a possible counter-attack. Fanga Nuku. As the Blues try to get over it, Whitelock all over the park, Sam Whitelock. Christie once more for Black. Gary, well read by Havili. Not 
giving any opportunity to Rico Ioane. Clark drops it onto the boot. And this one sits up nicely for Moonga. And he bangs it hard downfield. What a kick that is. He hasn't missed that, has he? Oh, scintillating play. Akira Ioane showing his strength to set his brother alight, which nearly led to something. Then the counter attack. Look at this. One okay. tackle. See you later. Yeah. Another one. I don't want you Just on me either. Then down. the offload on the inside to Rico. Good oh, covering thanks. tackle from Sanders. And then. Just happy to hang on to the ball here. Wait for any possible openings in the defence. Whitelock places it for Hall. Moanga. Again, McAllister. Paul. Moanga jabs a little kick in behind. Kali Tuioti managed to charge it down, so the Blues have got it back. Satutu swings it away. Christie. Coming up very quickly out. The middle goes Ioani. Now, Will Jordan, what are you thinking? Got him long enough. Here's Papali'i. Forget about the knee injury. He was there in... And a penalty. Vanessa Mattelli. Wow, what a breakout from Akira Ioane. Now Hall. Away for Jordan. Pushed through by Adele. Here come the sprinter. Well, who knows? <laughs> Will Jordan got Will there, but did he knock it on? That's the question yeah. before forcing. It's off his thigh. He reaches out and down. Anything that's thrown in front of him. And three players you've just mentioned have had storming games, to be fair. Reese has been so constructive and destructive in almost everything he's done today. Arveli's been just as good a playmaker as this man on screen, Moonga. Gee, they're a great 10 12 combination. And Jordan's just got a nose for it, isn't he? He's just unbelievable. Well, 20 tries in 27 games, Smithy. I think that sums it up. Here's Moonga from the sideline. And through it goes. Cowley Troyalty. All lost. So playing an advantage. Here's Moonga. Sends it away for Dallas McLeod. Here's Reese. He's been the standout player today. Perifeta. And he wears Moonga big time. No hands. And the Blues come away with it. They've done really well. Now Clark. And he shows something in the last few minutes. Christie for Renata. Open up, Red! Into the last minute of this game. As Tuanga Farsi. On it goes for Clark. Again, well contained. Big contact there. Renata on Whitelock. Christie again. They're going to keep probing away, keeping the ball at hand. Not much point doing anything else, really. Next time dead, and the game is over. And that will be it, as the ball has been dropped. Trying to rip it away, knocked Cross over. Forward, boys. And uh, that will be the final whistle from referee James Dolman. <laughs> and the Crusaders are back in touch. After a couple of weeks, they have bounced back big time here today. They have beaten the Blues and they will host the final of Sky Rugby Aotearoa. Final score, 29 to 6.